Hello, welcome to the Zentangle Project Pack Series number five. My name is Rick. And I'm Maria. And the tutorials in this series can be watched in any order. However, we do recommend watching the introduction to Project Pack 05 as it talks about all the inspiration behind cartouches and all of the materials and the instructions on getting everything ready with your photographs or your keepsakes. In this video, I'm going to show you a series of simple borders to get us started. So here we get this great picture of, of our grandson, Ramsey. And uh, the first thing I'm doing after, after I mounted this uh, lovely picture uh, is doing an aura all around it with uh, a black Micron 01. And you can see that I'm kind of going along with that deckling that is so fun and not being too, too picky because you won't actually have to be really picky about it uh, and it'll look great. Trust me on that one. We did include a, uh, we didn't include a black pen because we figured oh, probably you have one, but if you don't have a black pen, you can use the other pen in the, in the, uh, in the kit. In the kit. Okay. So um, everybody's pictures are going to be different, and we will be um, naturally uh, trying to accommodate the photo that we're working with. And these are all suggestions on different things that you can do with your photos and your memorabilia. And on this, if you watch how Maria's doing that line, she's doing this uh, weighting a little bit, like the line is a little bit heavy and then a little bit light. And I just love how it gives that little extra character. So I've, I've gone around the picture. Um, and I, I actually, uh, we, we did this on purpose so that you can see. I, when I do things like this, I put the picture down first just so I can, while I'm sort of preparing it and, and thinking about what I'm going to do next, I like to see that person or image so that I can judge what will look good. Um, so, but you might, you might choose to uh, put your picture in later. Uh, um, it's just a, a personal preference with me. But you can see now um, I'm thinking about Ramsey and what he would probably like to see there. And I'm putting a little string of Knightsbridge, nice little uh, checkerboard designs in this, in this border. And take your time, enjoy this. It doesn't take as long as you think it would. It's just a great meditation. Um, take the time to get your black nice and black. And as you all know, you notice how she turns the tile as she's uh, doing it. So the idea is to hold your tile in a place that's comfortable for your hand and, and rotate what you're working on instead of your hand. Oh, he already looks cute. Look at that. <laughs> So while you're doing things like this, um, sometimes I, I think about, you know, what will I do next? And oftentimes it's another aura, especially in this series of borders. There's, there's many auras to be used. And um, going from, in these cases, uh, color to color. And for those who might be new, an aura is our word for a line that echoes the shape around which it's being drawn. So I'm turning now to my brown Micron 01. Um, but I, I, some of you have uh, the, the PN, uh, and some of you have the Microns. And look how close she's doing this. So by changing the distance, you can really change the character. I love that. This is such good practice, all, all of these uh, auras. Uh, and, and take your time. I, I go a little quickly so that you won't have to sit there and watch me go really slow. Um, but slow is good. So now we've aura all around and inside that little triangle house top that we have there. So now we're going to put another aura um, that's a little bit wider. So you can see that my, my hand isn't really moving as much as my arm. It's, I'm just pulling it down um, as opposed to with my, 
my hand gesture. That nice, imprecise aura there. It, it really echoes the, the shape of the beckling. So I'm putting a series of spirals, and, and you do your spirals the way you think you know, your hand is comfortable and such like that. They don't have to be precise so much as fun and energetic. You want, you want some life to them. So you don't want them to be perfect. Uh, you want them to be lively. And we're going to add a, a few th other things in between them. So don't worry about uh, filling up that space completely. Sort of like unfurling and furling. Yeah. But again, you, you do your uh, spirals, the, what is comfortable with your, to your hand. Oh, fun. It's looking really nice. So we're going to go in and aura those spaces in between. And it just sort of uh, evens out all those little places, and it, it brings it to more of a border. And you'll notice that the, the gap between the auraing and the spiral is... is sort of a similar character. So there's this nice color that's developing throughout that whole border. I love doing borders. It's, I think it's, it comes from my framing days when we had our frame shop. I love doing this. So now I've, I've done that all the way around. And maybe you want to stop the video so we get yours done. I'm going to go back to the black one. And in here, I'm going to do something a little different. We're going to do, well, it's almost like halibut in single strokes. Uh, really easy, fun, uh, not too pressured. So you have uh, these lines that are creating spaces, but you want those spaces to be big enough to do things inside. So now I'm going to go back to my brown. And I'm going to aura inside each of the space with the brown pen, taking your time, turning your piece, enjoying this moment. And maybe you're looking at somebody that's really special for you and thinking about them. And oh, I love it. I love working with photos. It's so great. I like the contrast of that pattern with the spirals. Mm. So I'm going around inside each of these auras and putting, um, what would you call that, sort of like a rice shape around each uh, line. I know we've done that with bales and mm -hmm. things like that. And so you can see it fills them up quite nicely, but then we're going to do a little bit more. We're going to put some orbs in there, kind of smooshing them in nice and tight. So we're looking at these very different shapes, almost as a, uh, a reticula, and then putting this mm -hmm. fragment. It is sort of a reticula. I like that. Similar structure. But oh. the structure ad adapts to the varying reticula shapes. Right. Well, that's a new reticula I just mm. invented. Everybody hear that? New reticula. It's the whole idea that, you know, many tangles have shapes within which you can add other tangles. So with my brown pen, I am going to go in and fill in those interstices. And that, that's a word that means the spaces in between. So uh, filling those in, giving it some... Um, uh, gravitas, some, uh, some dark to work with. It's almost the same color as his hair. Isn't it beautiful? Mm. It, it really makes a difference to add those little bits of accent. Light and dark. It's one of the reasons that the Knight's Bridge is so powerful. So here we're going around with the black pen and um, we're going to pull it all together. Going all the way around.
Oh, sweet. And uh, in terms of shading on this, uh, we're going to uh, add some uh, graphite in the corners of this little uh, section on the top. Really pops it out like, mm -hmm. a, like an inset over a door or something. Yeah. And then on the, on the borders themselves, I'm just going to add a little bit of graphite here and there. And it's just not really... Uh, just to make it a little bit, uh, have some character. It's going to go in and out. So I really encourage you to try this because it, it sort of doesn't make sense, but when you see the finished piece, I was just looking at it up on the dining room table, and what she's doing here really creates this subtle pattern within a pattern. It's very beautiful and, and not immediately obvious. So now with your handy dandy tortillon, you're going to uh, smudge it in nice and softly, leaving that center section white. So because that's that's how that works. You, shading only works if you leave some not shaded. And watch this. So this is going to kind of. Uh, just give it some character. And she's holding the tortillon at a low angle, so you use the edge of it, not so much the point of it. Now, a lot of what she's doing here is actually using the graphite that's on the tortillon that, that's left over. And when she doesn't have any, she just goes back. You notice how she just went to some of the that was already on there and picked up a little bit more graphite. See? Loading her torting on, so to speak. Awesome. Now I'm going to go in with my General's White Chalk and give it a little bit of a sparkle inside, just, just ever so slightly. It'll show up better on your, um, on your real piece. I think some of this is lost on the, the camera. And what this does too on, on, on uh, what I'm doing is uh, making it a little more uh, subtle and softer, softer is a good word. And it, the contrast, you know, she's doing it in between where she put the graphite, and it just makes that subtle, you know, back and forth of light to dark. And on top of the uh, Knight's Bridge there. It's too cute. So now I'm going in with my white uh, tortillon just to kind of smooth it over and uh, get rid of some of the excess chalk. And there you have it. It's my buddy Ramsey. He's so cute. So thanks so much. We've got a bunch more uh, options uh, for you to enjoy, and uh, we look forward to seeing you soon. Bye. Bye See you now. later.